Aaron! Chris! Aaron! What is it? It's a Max Slash! It's a Max Slash. We finally got it. So this is the brand new Traxxas Max Slash. Yep. And this is going to be a 6S Beast. Yes. So we're pretty excited to unbox it and check it out. Mm -hmm. What do we call it for scale? Because I mean, UDR is true scale. Yeah. This is marginally... Pro, pro scale. Pro scale. Marginally bigger than a Max. Yeah. Which would but smaller than a UDR. Is, what do they classify as Max? 10 scale? Well, I call it a 9. Because I, I mean, it's it, yeah. bigger than a Stampede, but, but smaller than an Avery yeah. or a Sledge. So. I call it a, a 7.5. Seven and a half. Okay, that's what we're going with. Seven, seven and a half, half scale. scale. So this is the brand new first delivery. We just got this in. It just walked through the door. Hot, pretty excited to check it out. But let's check the box out because we have some pretty cool paneling on this box. So first delivery is the blue one. And then we get some of the battery info with speeds and all the other good stuff that comes with it. And what's in the box? What's on top? This actual size oh. comparison of the truck. And that red. That That's a red, nice red is so gorgeous. Yeah. And they have another picture of the red one on this panel. And then we get all of the colors. So this truck's gonna be available in this metallic red, metallic blue, rock and roll, or fluorescent green. Aaron's favorite color. So oh dude, I don't know. I'm sold on this red one, dude. I am so sold on this red one. So well, let's how come we got a blue one. Because that's the one they gave us for first delivery. Oh, I mean, we can't they were down. Luckily, the body doesn't change how fast and fun it is. True, true. So and if you're colorblind, it doesn't matter at all. I'll give you that. All right. Let's see what's in this. Do we have thing. to lay it down sideways? I don't know. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <One piece of carbon. laughs> well. Oh. It's in there. It's in there. Okay, I'll lay it down. Yeah, I'll lay it down. We'll back it out. Back her out. Oh, it sounds nice. Oh, that's that's much bigger than I thought. That is a good size truck right there. So before we get into Ooh. that, let's Ooh. do some some housekeeping stuff and talk nice. about what's in the bag. So quick start manual. You're gonna get a paper exploded view, which is this little gaffer right there. Incredible. You're gonna get a whole bunch of decals, number decals this time, which is a little bit different than what we've seen in the past. Mm -hmm. I assume on one of these you're gonna get Traxxas decals as well, because yeah, usually you get Traxxas decals. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna get basic. 2 and 2.5 mil allen keys uh you're also going to get a wheel wrench so pretty basic beautiful blue billy billy hey bet you it's inside the truck that's, oh, that's sneaky so Koba's body mount design on this it's inside the it's truck, in the truck. Right, i saw this in one of the that other is videos. sneaky <laughs> There you go. So we thought we got dupes. Yeah, we did think we got dupes. Well, I thought we got dupes. Yeah. So Traxxas TQI 2.4 gig Bluetooth transmitter, basic two channel, has the ability to throw the Bluetooth module in the back here. But sadly, Traxxas doesn't give you even on this model the Bluetooth module. So you will have to purchase 6511 separately. On the bottom, you get your slide door for your four double A's, just like every other Traxxas. 2.4 gig transmitter. I know Deaver's just super jazzed up about this new truck. So let's get a close up and check out this blue. This blue is phenomenal. That's really a like beautiful, like blue. the, the sparkle High metallic, is amazing. High metallic gunmetal in here too. Even in like this different, I'm gonna call it like ripple or wave effect in the yeah. front end. Very, very nice body. High metallic. Lots of protection on the body too. Yeah, so your clipless mounts will be in the corners yep. here, and then you're gonna get your rubber rails guards, on the roof. And even tailgate guards. Smart, which is I pretty would nice. imagine this body is gonna take a beating. Yes. <laughs> so let's unbox it and open up the shell. So this is a brand new shell from Traxxas. A lot of cage work on the inside yeah, to give it a nice ton of durability. Ton of durability. Stop a lot of the flopping at high speed and everything. Yeah, it's quite heavy. A lot it's heavier than I thought. Yeah. So let's go through what's included now on the truck. So it's a brand new chassis. Yep. This is not the same as a Max. It's quite a bit uh, longer than a Max. More of an LCG chassis compared to the Max yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. So you're gonna get Max size shocks. So mm -hmm. aluminum bodied shocks, plastic caps, spring retainers, uh, and spring collars, mm -hmm. all the same as mini Max. Uh, they're gonna be oil filled, oil filled diffs. Yep. Everything's gonna be the same there. You're gonna get the 2085 servo buried in there, or 2090, sorry. A little bit different mount on the Max, because now this upper brace kind of goes right down the middle of it. Yeah, a little bit different. being lower profile, right, the servo's got to fit in somewhere still. Usually yeah. the servo's kind of tucked into the chassis. Correct. 
The motor mount sits really, really high on this guy. It does, There's yeah. like a nice plastic plate that lifts a up nice the motor platform. to give you the drive shaft centerline angle going to the diffs to show the same bulkheads as the Mini Max. Mm -hmm. So now this is the 2000 kV motor. Out of the sludge. Out of the sludge. Yep. And same exact speed control, so the VXL 6S. So now you can run this on a singular 4S, mm -hmm. two 2S in series, or two 3S in series. Yes. So you do have a lot of ability to kind of mix and match and pick what kind of configuration you would like to drive it in. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty neat. You're gonna get your waterproof receiver box as per usual, and then the 6533 TQI Bluetooth yes. receiver with TSM. So tracks the stability management for those people that are new um, and not sure what that all means. Bunch of numbers and letters mm -hmm. and like, what is it? So yeah, pretty it's neat. Made up. Um, battery tray will fit a 6700. Yep, H has the, the body clip holes in there too to keep that from opening up yeah a little bit different design on this too because how they do it just like the sledge it's a lot like the sledge you know? it opens up just like a mini max yeah. or any of those trucks but you actually fit if you want to run two two s's or two three s's you stand them up on their sides yeah. now instead of laying them down flat to fit in this battery tray so a little bit different they include one piece of foam already mounted in there that you can add or take out mm -hmm. depending on your battery dimensions nice long battery tray too yeah, very, very long. Yep. So we get some new bumpers, yep. front and back, obviously, because Mini Max has never had those bumpers. We get a new wheelie bar. New wheelie that's bar. That's actually reversible. Okay. So you leave the wheelie bar like this if you want to go and do some nice wheelies, but let's say you want to go to the tarmac and not have a wheelie as much. It actually unbolts and you flip it upside down. So you get a puts lower it angle. To the ground. Yeah. Oh, that's super smart. Very cool. Super, super smart. And we also have more adjustment in the rear shocks from the risers that Trax has included now. Yeah, that's correct. So I've been doing some searching. Mm -hmm. You can make them work on Max V2 arms. Oh yeah. But it does take some modification. So uh, it is not a direct bolt up. Yeah. Um, this is gonna be the same width as a Mini Max V1, mm -hmm. but the upper arms are the same. Yep. The lower arms, however, are different yeah, for that riser plate. So you've got to be a little bit careful there. We also do get some new updated drive shafts. So they have a hollow steel core now yeah. that kind of locks that U-joint in for yeah. more durability. So that is one thing I think that should really help this truck. Well, the biggest issue with six. those Z1 drive shafts was those those U-joints spreading out. Yeah, and, and the V2s apart, have so. the same issue yeah. as well. So I think right? this will really help with that. And we've got belted tires too. Yeah, so very similar size to UDR tires. Yes. You call that 100% yeah. perfect. So we do have a UDR. There's not many people size comparison to a UDR and a Mini Max, mm -hmm. which we have all three trucks now in our possession yeah. to kind of check out. I just want to see the bottom side of this chassis. It's yeah, nice. very nice OCG, and flat. Eh? Oh, and they added way more material now on oh, these yeah, skid plates. Oh yeah, those are right sunk in. Because before what happened on the Mini Max was they didn't have enough material, so you'd wear yeah. through the material and then just beat the tar to the yeah. screws or pull the screws out. Yeah. That was kind of a, a standard yeah, issue. The screw was right flush with that uh, skid plate. And then a really nice nerf bars. Oh yeah. Like high flex to them, so it should last quite a bit longer. So let's get this body on. So that's a real weight to it, you know? Ain't no slouch. Yeah, that's a nice body. The, yeah. the clipless on all four corners, definitely where it's at. So now, let's size comparison that bad boy to the UDR. So, nice down. Nice down. So the wheelbase on the UDR is a smidgen longer. Yeah, what, half an inch? Yeah, half an inch longer and Comparing the rear, almost the, same. the rear length, like the only thing that really overhangs is the bumper yeah. because of the spare tires. Mm -hmm. Like I think if you didn't have the spare tires and could suck in that bumper a little yeah. bit more, it would be very, very similar in size. Yeah. Um, you're gonna get, you think it's a little bit, I think it's a little bit narrower than Mini It might be a little bit narrower. Let's just go like this. Put her up on its side. Well, actually the, to do with the width of the tires, they yeah. are a little bit wider. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Neat. That's a very, very, so very similar much, uh, size truck. A UDR sized bashable throwable truck. Yeah, and the, like looking at the axle lengths, mm -hmm. the Mini Max, uh, the Max Slash is definitely shorter. For sure, for yeah. sure. Especially once you start getting the travel at rear end yeah, and straightening out that pass. Yeah. So I'm gonna go grab the Mini Max and we can kind of compare those up now. We're gonna bash this truck. So, and this is it beside the Mini Max. Holy crap. Much bigger. Makes the Max look much smaller. 100% yeah. does. 
It's very similar wheelbase, though. It's amazing how similar tra or track width, yeah. sorry. Like, I mean, you're, what, about an inch wider yep. on the Mini Max? But then comparing it to length. length, a little bit shorter. Yeah. Not by much. And just the overall footprint of the truck is much bigger, having that huge body. The short course body makes it look ginormous. It makes it look huge. Holy lick. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty neat. And another thing we didn't really talk about on the body, I don't know how much this is actually going to make a difference because the they're very, very small air vents on the back of the cab. Usually you're going to want something a little bit bigger just mm -hmm. to let the air come under the front and then through the body so it doesn't create as big of a parachute effect. Yeah. So I think if you're going to actually run this like top speed, because Traxxas is saying 60 plus miles an hour with very minimal gearing changes, mm -hmm. but 70 plus miles an hour with the highest speed gearing. So it's going to be an absolute rocket ship. Yeah. And I think if you want to run it at that kinds of speeds. You're going to have to add some more holes to that body. Add some more vents. Yeah. yeah. Just let that air go through so it doesn't create a big parachute effect. And it's not just going to sit there and really Let's try to fly away. So Chris, I guess the question of the day is, out of the four colors, the high metallic, the candy apple yep. red, the blue, the fluorescent green, mm -hmm. or the rock and roll? Yeah. What's your favorite? I'm excited to see the red. Yeah. But the blue is really nice. I think outside, Super nice. this is going to be a sick color. Yeah. Right? Because I mean, it's just like the BL2 rallies we talked about and unboxed here previous. Yep. Very similar color scheme. That same blue, same gunmetal mm -hmm. aspects to it. Like, very, very nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I'm on the same wavelength, though. That red, yeah. knowing well, that it's going to be similar to that K5 Blazer red. Yeah, mm, that's going to be nice. So Once nice. we destroy this body, we'll just order a pre painted red one. Yeah, I mean, they're going to come pre painted or clear. Yep. And they're also going to come pro graphics Which eventually because yeah. so right now no pro graphics mm -hmm. is available um but yeah that's the brand new max slash from traxxas so down in the comments tell us what color you would like to see i know chris is pretty jazzed up about running this so we'll have some running videos here in the near near future yes. we're finally getting some snow melting outside and it's not see minus papers. 40 so that's a huge win but we're pretty excited with the new max slash tell us what you think about it in the comments below mm -hmm. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We did hit that 2,000 sub mark. So yeah, thank we did. You thank you very much. For subbing. We really do appreciate it. And we'll have a giveaway video here in the next week or so. We're just trying to figure out what we're going to be doing for a giveaway and uh, what some of the prizes are going to be. So thank you everyone so much that subbed here recently. And yeah, hopefully everyone enjoyed this unboxing video. We're pretty jazzed up about this new Max Slash. Yeah. And hopefully we'll catch you on a next one when we start doing some running videos. Start sending. Yeah. So have a good one, everyone, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.